Hello everyone, this is Amanda again from Imagine Life Visual Artistry. I am bringing another short tutorial video to you about how to clean up sand when you're editing pictures taken on the beach. Um, I've had quite a few beach pictures that where the sand had a lot of debris and crud that had washed up on them like seaweed and sticks and twigs and other things like that. Um, so I'm going to show you how I, on a smaller scale, edit things out of the sand to make it look a little cleaner. Um, this image, actually the sand isn't that bad because it was taken in the morning and they raked the sand in the morning and I kind of know that. Um, but some areas of the beach you just can't help it. Um, but there are a couple sticks and things in the sand that are a little distracting for a viewer, so I'm going to go ahead and take those out. Um, what I do to remove things from the beach is, first of all, I kind of zoom in on it so I can get a good selection. And then what I do is I use this... Um, patch tool is what I think it's called. Yep, the patch tool. And I use it to make a selection. And then I um, basically erase that little item from the sand. You would never know it's there. So first of all, I'm going to duplicate my layer, Control J, so that I'm not working on my base layer. And then um, if I feel it doesn't look very good, I can go back and redo it. So I'm going to take the patch tool. I'm going to just select as closely as possible the item I want to remove. It's going to highlight it with the little dancing ants is what they call it. And I'm going to hit Shift F5. Shift F5 is the fill content aware. Um, you can choose to fill it with something else, but it's basically going to take that selection and fill it by using content aware. Content aware is a tool that basically samples what's around it and it kind of smart guesses what should be inside that selection. So I'm going to hit OK. And boom. Control D to deselect. Can't even tell it was there right? You want to do this the long way instead of using the um, shift F5. You go up to edit and fill and then it'll bring up that same box. So again I'm going to select this little um, shell. I'm going to go to edit, fill, which is again it tells you right here shift F5 or I would never remember it. Content aware, okay, boom. Sometimes what it does is it, especially if it's in an area where there's blur and then not blur, um, it'll go in and you can see this line here was in focus and now all of a sudden it's not. One of the things that I do to fix that, if I feel like it doesn't fit with the rest of the photo, is I might go in... I'm going to flatten this and I'm going to duplicate my bottom layer again and I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the clone stamp tool and I'm basically going to clone this area here where it's in focus by hitting alt and then the um, left click button. And then I'm going to go over and kind of line it up as best I can. And I'm going to just kind of paint it on with my brush like that. Okay. So that kind of helps it be more accurate with the focus. So the other um, big piece in the sand here, I'm going to go in and take out is this right here. Patch tool. Shift F5, enter, and that is gone. Um, if you're hearing noises, it's because my cat has decided to come sit in my lap while I'm editing, which if 
for some reason, it's like you sit down at your, your computer and that is a magnet for animal love. They just have to come sit with you. Okay, so there's a couple other pieces here that I'm going to go ahead and take out. Here's another tip. If you want to select multiple pieces, you can select. So I just selected that. Um, and then you hold down the shift key. And then you select another one. And it selects them both. You hit shift, F5. Boom, content aware. Love content aware. So I'm going to hit Control D to deselect. And to a certain extent, that was kind of the big things that stuck out to me. Um, you don't want to take too much out. Um, I have some, if the sand is really flat, like if it's the flat sand by the shore, I will clean it up a lot more so it looks nice and smooth. Um, but this bumpy sand, you're going to have some things in here and you don't want to take out too much or it'll just look unnatural. Shift F5, enter. So I just kind of go through and take out the, the things that I think really pop out to my eye. Because you want the um, viewer to look at your subject first. You don't want them to get distracted by other things that stick out to them. So there. That, I think, looks great. So I'm going to go ahead and layer flatten. And I will go ahead and show you the before. This is before um, I, I ran the other, if you watched my other video where I ran the morning beach action and the morning beach light action where I showed you how to batch edit as well as create your own action. This is going to be the before, before all of those as well. But you'll get to see where the sand um, pieces are. This is going much slower than I anticipated. So we're going to wait for this. Okay, so it's coming in here. Sometimes if you just move the mouse over it, it catches up. This, my graphics card is getting a little too full with all of the editing I do. All right, so there's the before with the sand pieces and all the other actions. And here is the after. So I'm pretty happy with that. All right, thanks. Well, um, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again on my next editing video. This is Amanda Pratt at Imagine Life Visual Artistry, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.